Yeah. Welcome to Retro Mondays. We are going back in time and watching some vintage commercials. So we are going to go back in time to the 80s and we're going to do some cool 80s commercials. So now we figure this out. The headset somehow stops working. So we'll figure that out later this week. But this week's Do We Remember is, do you know all the old Bulls mascots? Oh, God. <laughs> if you can name all of them, let us know in the chat if you can name all of them. So I can name a, I can name can a couple, name but I'll let the chat go. Like, <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. Let us know if you can name them. Ronald McDonald's not going to be counting yeah. in this list. So Ronald McDonald and the crew. The Who are the crew? Yeah, name his you just got to name their crew, the crew of Ronald McDonald's crew he had. So if you know them, let us know. We will play some to see if you can remember the crew. We got one so of them. We got gonna be one correct answer. And I remember when I, when I would go to get the, when I was a little, little a kid, see, and uh, they had these plastic plates. And it was Ronald McDonald, and and they're like raking uh-huh. leaves on the plate, all that stuff. I, I never forget. I had to like, there's like two McDonald's plates I always had to eat off of. And then it just so happens there's this McDonald's on the west side of my town. And I was just—I just happened to be in there one time, and they had a, a huge. It was never—I never seen a McDonald's like this huge, like glass case, and it had happened to have like all the McDonald's like Happy Meal toys for the last like thirty or forty years. And I'm like, and sure enough, I saw those plates. See, Joe Q remembers the, he still has the plates. That's what I'm saying. Like he still—he <laughs> still has one of the plates. <laughs> That's so good. Well, I think they're worth something, yeah. Joe. Get all, you know, see if you can like buff them up and stuff, and like get all the spaghetti sauce off them. Maybe you might make some money. Yeah, get some money that way. <laughs> We're gonna. Well, if you're just joining us, if you know the McDonald's cast members, that is not Ronald McDonald. Let us know in the chat if you know. We already have Hamburger and Grimace. If you can name the others, let us know. But we're going to play some commercial. To, this is my. So hopefully it works. I, I have good. a question. I have a question about McDonald's. Can you name any slogan before any of them before I'm loving it? Because that ad, that slogan yes, that, deal has been going on forever. Fry guy. As Duncan Dad points out. One of the nice things about McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, those hot, tasty pieces of boneless chicken, is that they're packaged in sizes for every appetite. Let me illustrate. Enter the six-pack. Logical lunch. McNuggets 9, a delight for dinner. And a pack of 20? Hey, perfect for picnics and parties. Of course, these are mere suggestions. Your Let's appetite will be the truth about McDonald's Chicken there. McNuggets. Those hot, tasty California. pieces of boneless like chicken is that they're packaged in sizes all your for every appetite. Internet. Let me illustrate. Enter the six-pack. A logical lunch. <laughs> McNuggets 9, a delight for dinner. And a pack... We got some scary chickens on the scene. Hopefully we can find the San Diego chicken in there, in that crowd. <laughs> It's all chickens. Can you spot which one? <laughs> like, which one is the San Diego chicken? He's what? He, that's before Mr. Padre. You remember the San Diego chicken? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Joe Q is pointing out there are 10 pieces and not nine. Nuggets 9, a delight for dinner. And a pack of 20? Hey, perfect for picnics and parties. Of course, these are mere suggestions. Your appetite will be the true guide. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. 
Okay, okay there's one slogan. That was one of those. This one. To give us an old slogan. Yeah. All right, so uh, Officer there's, there's an old one. Yeah. Don't get that. Yeah. What is Ronald McDonald dreaming of? Let's see. Breakfast. This morning, it seems Ronald's having a dream. Time for breakfast. Time for breakfast, Bertie. Oh, boy. Hop the Hop and make hotcakes. And from Bertie. You betcha. <laughs> oh, there's one Bertie. Hotcakes. Get those. Not Bertie. And golf. See, I didn't. I know. I don't even remember this commercial. Yeah. Mayor McCheese. Good gotcha. lord. <laughs> what? What? Whoops. Gotcha. Got you. Ronald, time for breakfast with a friend. Oh, I got a bird in my window. Cake, syrup and butter. Yep, juice and milk. <laughs> <laughs> a dream come true. McDonald's and you. Yeah, you wake up to a giant bird outside your window. I'm going to piss my bed. Yeah. Bertie the Bertie early bird. The... Wow, Dunkin' Dad. Before they made them, what do you... Dunkin' Dad's got the Bertie McDonald's Bertie people <laughs> locked down. He's probably going to win this contest. Sorry, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he looked it up. No, he <laughs> looked at Joe Q's uh, plates. That's all you had to do. <laughs> he went to Joe Q's house, look at the plates. <laughs> Joe at the... Q came <laughs> home and said, I'm right, right, I'm down. I'm right, I'm down. <laughs> and I'm like, here. <laughs> he goes, don't get that. Let's say here he is. All happy, enjoying his wonderful day. He goes over to Joe Q's house, like, da-da-da-da, goes into the house, finds the plates, and then he gets this piece of paper, this is this little piece of paper, and he's like, okay, this, and this, and this, and this. Simple as that. There you go. Our little illustration. It's like a John Madden, just like John <laughs> Madden would do, you know what I'm saying? And boom, he gets oh, the quiz, he gets the plates, and boom, he takes them back, and then he gets all the answers right in the stream. So. <laughs> yeah, we're bringing the John Madden whiteboard technology stuff to no filter. Who right. cares if it? Who cares if it's an extinct idea? We're bringing in the funny, funniness with the John Madden whiteboard <laughs> segments. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do the show from now on. We're gonna have John I mean, Madden whiteboard sections with a whiteboard marker and a whiteboard, so we can have a little humor involved. Joe. I still can't get over the giant bird in the window. Like, there's no. That's that's yeah. scary. And then this. This is like Barney's cousin. Who's that? Oh, grimace. Yeah. It's the fry guys. Oh, the fry guys. Oh wow. Ronald McDonald in. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, who's making up Ronald McDonald now? Back when McDonald's was great, yo. Know. <laughs> oh. What was this, Pee Wee's Playhouse? Good morning. Good morning. Giant bird. Love this stuff. The bird. Good morning. Way to go. Hey, who's the pirate? In good sports. There's Sam, the yeah. Olympic Eagle, the official mascot of the 1984 <laughs> Olympics. Ronald, I'm trying to tell you. Well, I'm here testing it. You guys need to help me get the McDonald's. I'm the 84 Olympic mascot. And keep him away from early bird because he might flirt with her because they're both big giant birds, yeah. yo. Like he might yeah. try to like, you know, I guess but you don't see her in her. That's good. So the yeah, kids so don't far. get any kind of don't get any bright ideas, you know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Joe Q.
That's right, Kari. I'm th- Kari, I'm thinking that's like Barney's like long lost cousin. He's Speaking like, of Barney, oh. Barney did get a revamp. Oh, that's right. Did you see the revamp? I think yeah, I saw him it. Away. If anyone in the chat doesn't remember what the new Barney revamp looks like, I'll show what? you. Was well, he all woke and everything, and he's like down with critical race theory, theory, and you know, this is what they made a Barney now. Keep him away from your kids, maybe. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not interested. Sorry, I like the old. Watch, let's see if there's a petition going on that says bring back old Barney. Yeah, let's see petition. Not... <laughs> the chick that up. Not Barney Rubble. <laughs> Nope, not him. <laughs> That's better cartoon. Yep. Good old days. Barney petition. Rubble, rubble. Not Barney. Not Barney Fife. Yep. Not Benny Parsons. <laughs> nope. There's no Barney petition going on. Not Barney Miller. Uh, not. Not Barney Fife. Well, not Barnes and Noble. Leave it to me, Sam. <laughs> oh, he cheated. <laughs> yeah, he cheated. That's a disqualification on Mike Donald. Man. I got Kelsey. He's a clown. The stunt double. Yeah. Now who's the stunt double? Who's the stunt double? This commercial. Yeah. Here's Ronald McDonald in hamburgers for Ronald. Grimace, let's go to. Yeah, that's exactly. Do your, do your workout, eat McDonald's for sure. Hey, hamburgers for Ronald. I think this is trying to tell me something. <laughs> McDonald's hamburgers. I should have known. It's a good time for the great taste. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah. Of McDonald's. We're going to Japan or somewhere in Asian countries because we got it. Vintage Asian <laughs> country of Grimace. Man, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this guy's from, like, the East Coast a little, or somewhere. Whoa! That guy's not East Coast at all. He's far East Coast. Oh, we got some bananas. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some bananas. <gasps> Give us that banana shake now. <laughs> Grimace, here's some happy news about McDonald's Happy Meal. No. Oh, we got the talking hamburger. Everybody, look out. There's the talking wow. hamburger. <laughs> so we have the talking hamburger. Get real into what we're supposed to be watching, not more of these McDonald's commercials. We got to get into the real stuff, the real, real, real stuff in the end. So we're going to do some 80s commercial. Get ready to start as soon as possible. As we get them started, we will queue them up and learn about them. So let's do it. The 80s commercials. We'll return after these messages. Oh, wow. Heavy rain is slowing traffic. What time's your meeting? 8.30. Oh, great. I have to be there by 8. Didn't do that. Yeah, isn't here yet. You ready for more good news? Come on. What now? Kevin's diaper leaks. What up, Bruce? We'll return after these messages. These messages. So heavy rain she got the shoulder what pads, watch. 8.30. Oh, great. I have to be there by 8. Told you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What happened? Oh, wait, I have to be there by eight. He's like, he's like, honey, where's my super suit? <laughs> I don't know. Honey, where is it? I need it now. 
Ready for more good news? Man, that's well, nah. when they had helmet nah. hair right there. Back in the day. Everything's soaked. Not today. If you could buy a thin diaper that dramatically cut leakage, even overnight, Where'd you go? What's going? wouldn't you go, try go. it? This is it. New Loves Deluxe. Now with the Night Guard system. No diaper has ever worked like this. If baby only wet once during the night, almost any thin diaper would do. But only Love's new Night Guard system quickly distributes wetness throughout the padding. So when... Okay, they're telling you how others do when they use their... When your kid needs the diaper. Back then, when techno, when things needed to be described to yeah. you really well, and they had the blue know? liquid. Remember, what, it Just was the blue sure liquid. The right <laughs> they still do the blue liquid. Again, other oh, there it is. Leak, but loves can loves can still absorb without leaking. <laughs> like it could take two loads, right? Because there's one load. Everything's in good shape today. <laughs> now it's our only diaper. Those things really work. <laughs> but the kid? Oh, I took it the kid? <laughs> a little joy ride? Uh, Loves will change your life. Yeah. They work, don't they? They really work. Mommy? Mommy? Why did I get a cavity? Why? Parents have to answer enough tough questions, so do all you can to prevent that one. You get a, like, why did you get a cavity? And the dentist is like, well, your kid ate too much chocolate. She got to eat too much chocolate. You need to hide that chocolate from her so she doesn't get any more cavities. Or you're going to have to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for your cavities. You got it? I think they went to McDonald's too many times, saw so many McDonald's commercials, and they're like, that's yeah, they're, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can to prevent that one. Make sure you give your kids Crest. You see, Crest has Floristat. It's a unique formula, and no other. It's ACT. That's if, if they don't brush their teeth, you make them. You physically. Do it for them because no sometimes they're assholes and they won't do it. Test to prove it's better than Crest <laughs> at fighting cavities. Yeah. Crest, the dentist choice for their patients, should be your choice for your children. I hope I don't get, I don't get a cavity in there. Then oh. the McDonald's, the, 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 <laughs> the chocolate. Well, is that a wig she's wearing? That's a good question. Is she wearing <laughs> a wig this whole time? Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, she's a cute little one. Hopefully, everything works out, Nick. Because I'm planning to get at... I'm hoping I can get all this tech stuff fixed out and everything. So, hopefully, we get it fixed. Oh, you sound pretty good right now. Good. That is a good thing. We got Penguin A. Is he saying, what up? He's in the building. What up? That's my homie. Oh, don't do it. Oh, that's it. Never oh, kick the mower, bro. He just spawn more. He kicks the mower and starts right up. I'll tell you so about let's that, do man. Our John Madden reenactment. Who's his finger? <laughs> this guy's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna I put a boom in there. Say, boom. <laughs> he spawn more. He was the guy that kicks it, and the mower was going going over the yard, and he's like. <laughs> What? 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 So now we got the little test fact that the commission needs to go boom. There you go. There you go. You got a boom in there. Yeah, if you're doing the math, you got to do a, pool, a boom, maybe a pow, but you got to go boom. Yeah, the boom. <laughs> and then he, boom, he hits the. <laughs> yeah. Rest of will miss that guy. Oh. Yeah. As we want to get, as we. Are talking about John Madden in football. Did you see Carson Wentz released after one season with the Commanders? I don't know. Maybe they have a plan, but I'd keep the guy. But you know, hey, the thing is, like, they don't have a. They'll be sort of high in the draft, didn't they? Like, almost make the playoffs or something. Like, yeah. they they weren't that bad. So it's not like they're getting a high draft pick unless they're going to make some. You know how they are. Make make a deal. 
Yep. Because the guy they have in there, I can't oh, yeah. remember his name. Heineke, yeah. Yep. Not Heineken, but. Yeah, and then yesterday, Machado with his 11 year deal. Yeah, who expected that. that to happen? He's going to be 41 as well. Have you uh, have you seen any of those baseball any of the baseball games early on or nothing? Or uh, I've seen some of the spring training games, like you know, with the Red Sox Braves game when that ended, when the time expired. Yeah, with the time, every, that's what everyone was going over, like controversy. Yeah, <laughs> but that is a good question. Joe Q is asking. You should have put it in that little that league that uh, uh, AJ is kind of helping out. You know, like talking to the coaches there, put them there with those kids in Florida. That would be something. I wish I could say the penal league, the penal league, but I guess I'll go with like USFL or something for Wentz. No, somebody, somebody will be picking them up. I'm sure. Yeah. You got to love MLB when they say for the, this game, the umpire says, Umpire, 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 an umpire. <laughs> Get it together. God. Yeah, CB Buckner's in trouble. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that too. He's yeah. in trouble. He's in hot water. Yeah, I just, I, I mean, I don't mind the, you know, I guess the time thing, that's fine. It makes it faster, but it's yeah. the shift, the shift thing still. Like, I don't yeah. get it. Like, that's been a part of baseball since baseball began. And yep. to me, it's like Will Clark, and, and not just Will Clark, but anybody with common sense says, you go the other way or you bunt. If there, if third base is all alone, there's nobody there, I'm going to lay down a little bunt. I'll perfect my bunt to, you know, yeah. and that's and that's what the thing is. Like, they see that, and, these, and all of a sudden the pitchers act different, and then they'll go back to – Playing you straight up. If you do that, you got to beat the shift. Yeah. Don't, you know, it just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't care if make the bags bigger or whatever you make them to 80 inches wide. I don't, I don't care. <clears throat> but the shift, that's, that's fundamentally part of the game. Yeah. We did get a lot of craziness going on, you know, as well with, yeah. so we, the, and then Robert Woods got cut from the Titans too last week. Oh, okay. Wow. He's really yeah. He's really fallen off since uh the Rams there. Yeah, that Super Bowl. Yeah, they wow. and then the Rams have trade talks with Jalen Ramsey. Oh. They want to get rid of him. And then St. Louis for the second week in a row in the XFL had a battle back from the lead. You know, that's, that's been kind of entertaining. I've been watching as much as I can and yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind and of, then the Rams kind of fun. cutting Bobby Wagner as well because of uh, the cap it's, issue. It's about time. He needs to just retire. And then another news that we also have, the, they're doing a sequel book of How the Grinch Lost Christmas, but not by Dr. Seuss. It's going to be by someone else. Some woke bastard that, yeah, yeah. They, I can't stand all that shit. Hey, all I can tell you is some of that, some of that stuff, people are starting to backlash against it. It's, it's getting old, that woke shit now, so... Get all into it, but I don't want to. We'll I, just think it's, I think it's bullshit. Go woke, get you know, get woke, go broke, boom, boom. It's all fact and to not Now you could win a year's worth of free travel on United Airlines plus twenty five thousand. Oh, buy me some soda. <laughs> You could win a year's worth of now. You're trying to get it to the airlines plus 20 all day game. Oh, there goes the mower. So oh, that was sli- that. I like that commercial. The wind in the willows. We got some, but we got a baseball player here right here. Now he's just sitting here, like, okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> Now 
you could win a year's worth of free travel on United Airlines. Plus Wait, $25, travel? Fuck me up, Evernote. Give me that. Give me the free travel with United. <laughs> but look, is it going to be someone else other than United? No, please help. <laughs> Look for the 7-Up Play All Day game. We need to get the beach. <laughs> Just like it was on the plane all the way to the beach. Wow. <laughs> How is that even possible? Now, back to our story. If dinner gets a little too attached to your grill, reach for the ultimate cleaning machine as Hold up. Why would an SOS sound like there's a lawn install to that thing? That'd be cool. I need all the power I can get. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me, I better clean the grill here soon. SOS, the ultimate cleaning machine. What? You won't get it. Do it one more time. <laughs> so, uh, I got it. I'm sending no. the Edwards a card. I'm this late night email, <clears throat> and I don't care if they. I'm gonna make this a late night email, and they're gonna <laughs> read this. And if they don't read my email, I'm gonna go over to their house and knock on that door. Damn. <laughs> card to thank them for the dinner, and to thank the dinner. And to thank Elizabeth for loaning me a dress. I want to thank them for dinner. Thank you for getting the nice mashed potatoes and gravy. And having some pumpkin pie and this yummy Thanksgiving meal. Elizabeth for loaning yeah, me a yeah, dress. Yeah, the old man right there is not listening. He's just fast asleep. After you spilled wine on me. Yeah. He's like, and her he's like uh, what's going on here? I don't know. Well, shut up. <laughs> So I sleep. Turn your light off. And her Remember those lamps like that? It's like a hotel. What are, you, what are you talking about? Snowflake. Mm -hmm. And to promise her that you won't try any more magic tricks in their house. Please forgive us. Elaine and Abracadabra. A night to remember deserves a card from Hallmark. The place to go when you care enough to send the very best. Why are so many people drinking Diet Coke and seeing Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah's new movie, Roxanne? It's as plain as the... What? Oh, what? Look at the nose off the off. screen! Look at the... What? It looks like Pinocchio's nose on... That was... That was dumb. Oh, this! Oh, that's that movie. Uh, Roxanne. Yeah. Steve Martin. It was pretty good. Daryl Hannah, I think, was in it. Not Daryl Strong. My head stops for what the hell? It's an outrage. Double great feeling. Which wins it back? Double is the one for you. Double fresh. Double smooth. Double delicious to chew. <laughs> What a way to advertise a movie. Yep. Carnation Instant Breakfast. Oh, the double mint twins. Would you? Carnation Instant Breakfast. I don't even know. It's a good question, Reese. A movie. I don't even know who's twin. Who? Who's any twins? I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. If, let's look that up. Double mint. I mean, it wouldn't be the Ashley, Ashley, or the other Ch Ashley Olsen, and no, thank you. The Bella. T <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, that's the closest I can think of, Duncan Dad. <laughs> Brutal. 
<laughs> well, they so, say the t- those the first twins were. It was 1959 with Jane and Joan Concher as the first double mint twins. But during the, these commercials we're dealing with right now is Linda Puffer and Lisa Winters Cox were the twins in those uh-huh. commercials. So that's the double mint commercials from back then. Back in the day, yo. Back then when things were iconic. Oh, yeah. I mean, they stopped that crap. Yeah. These are not the good old days, by the way. You're going to love it. You'll also love that Carnation Instant Breakfast is now even easier to make with this free shaker mug. See specially marked boxes for mail-in offer details. Next? Why don't they play? Carnation Instant Breakfast. In regular and no sugar added. You're going to love it in an instant. My roommate said, gee, Shelly, your skin looks really good. I do good. remember this. It couldn't be because of Dove. Instant breakfast. We asked women to give up their soap and use Dove for seven days. I had some dry spots right here. Wow. After using Dove for seven days, they're gone. That's right. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. At that, you know, it's that was like the like Nutra Slint, like Nutra Fast or whatever. Everybody they came out with their little shakes. With Dove, my skin Nobody in life carnation It's a breakfast in the dust. City News, Mr. Keebler. Can you tell us what your new sandwich cookies look like? You're going to love it in no an comment. instant. Well, we hear they've got creamy sandwich cookies look like. Oh, yeah, no Keebler, yo. We don't have any new cookies. Why are you looking at us? Love that, man. You never yeah. know. Some yummy Keebler cookies. No comment. Keebler introduces new EL Fudge sandwich cookies. Buttery cookies oh, and creamy fudge. It stopped. All Elmer of a fudge. Not Elmer fudge. <laughs> EL Fudge. We got some EL Fudge. Some yummy EL Fudge. I can't remember Let's which one. Some EL Fudge. I'm sure they're still around. I don't know, but I can't remember what Ke- Keebler had. Everything they did, like, like yeah. every like crackers and tons of stuff that you you forgot about. So El Fudge came in 1986. Variant in 2002 variants included original double stuff with twice the filling, and two that, and then they had fudge cookies, either fudge or peanut butter filling. And they're still made today. Buttery so cookies. Yeah, it's probably just, thing. just those things. butter butter cookies they had. Just plain ones are pretty decent. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's, somebody's, somebody's grandma. Keep, your grandma probably has it. those in her pantry right now. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. <laughs> cookies with creamy fudge, chocolatey cookies with fudge, chocolatey cookies with peanut butter middles, and chocolatey cookies with vanilla cream. We hear yeah. they're all delicious. They are? Oh, delicious. They are? Oh, were you talking to the cookie? The cookie? <clears throat> no comment. New EL. Talking to the cookie. No comment. He's like, I wasn't talking to the cookie. No comment here at all. You came out of nowhere and you didn't talk to me when the interview began, sir. What is wrong with you? <laughs> He's like, I really like this treehouse sandwich though. cookies from KBL Fudge sandwich cookies from Keebler. Is that racist now? Because they're elves? It's supposed to be little people. I don't know. Man, it's I mean, between everything. Two of the top teams in the American League. Oh, look at this advertising <laughs> for baseball. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we know what happened that year. Yeah, we got the, twi- the, the twins, twins went on to win the World please. Series that year. Talk about twins. Minnesota takes on the New York Yankees. Yeah. Well, these are Cardinals. Gary Coyote. Hey, ABC Monday Night Football. Wow. Well, was for ABC Monday Night Football. Was that the last time they ever had baseball? <laughs> was that that year? <laughs> and as Rock and Reese points out, where's Bernsey when we need him? <laughs> yeah. That baseball advertisement he would... We needed him for that. Time I saw him, he was a dirty-faced little kid. Saw him, he was a dirty-faced little kid wearing a baseball cap. I watched him play baseball in American Legion and all the way through high school. Jesus Christ! I called the front office and I said, <laughs> "This kid Chad. can really hit." Yeah. Let's see what MLB player he's talking about. 
in this commercial was scouting everything. Let's see who he's talking about. Sign him. He's going to be an all-star. Kid's name was George Brett. Yeah. I've just seen something else. And let me tell you. What did you see about George Brett? Tell us more about Mr. George Brett, sir. Is this 84 or 87? Because I didn't say 87. Buy another car until you've seen a Sterling. Until you've seen a Sterling. A Sterling. Hour hand, minute hand, second hand, sweet. Time is of the essence, gotta pick it up a piece. Because time is money and money is time. The one that does it faster is the one that we buy. Hi, dear fool, so gotta get it done. Quick, 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 bite fast food, eat it on the run. Rush job, turn around. And this is Jiggy. I love it. Get it in an instant, punch it. Yeah, it's so Jiggy. We live in an instant world. Why not make an instant fortune? Play fortune, instant lottery. You could win a quick million. That's too many. That's too many. <laughs> Just stop, people. Stop. Too many. That's too many. Too many wow. cars. Great <laughs> commercial. All of them. That was great. Oyster. <laughs> 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 Burger King presents breakfast to go. Yeah, to go. Croissant sandwich to go. French toast sticks to go. Breakfast to go. Burger King, the best food for fast time. Mike Jackson and Diane Burns tonight at Mike Dan. Jackson and Diane Burns. Forget the about it. We'll return Chicago. Wow. He's just All sitting on the line like... watching the game. He's like, oh, yeah. That's why you do it. Not mad. And he's like, I'm not going to the middle of this yard yet. I will tell you when I will mow the yard. Just don't bother me. It's making me really hungry. McDonald's introduces Super Summer Cycle. Ah, look at the packaging. Laughs Way produces different. Super We got Super Size McDonald's. Laughs super Size. Make me so thirsty. Larger than large mega servings of icy Coca Cola, golden fries, and thick milkshakes, but for a limited time only. So drive wow, through dude. today. Look at what I was giving you the food, man. Hey, this. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Who needed a liter of Coke? <laughs> Ugh. When you could have the super size of it. Oh, you're gonna make him sit in the back? Yeah. Now everybody is lactose intolerant, even if they don't think they are. <laughs> oh, no. oh, don't get me started on Bill Cosby. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I'm having a, a pet here to talk to you. Oh, no. dog show. It was a sad night. He was very upset. I took some pictures, remember? Huh? Well, <laughs> well, you don't think I'd take them just anywhere to be developed. Here, come on, look at them. Ask Kodak. The Kodak Color Watch System. This Color Watch seal says only Kodak products are used for great developing. He <laughs> said, I show him the pictures. He says, He <laughs> said, Oh, dude, Justin Wilson. <laughs> Now this oh, next guy, <laughs> this next guy, I love this guy. He's this passed is away. This Cajun spice ruffles tater chip. Yeah, Justin Wilson. Too hot? No, it's not too hot. It's spicy. Yeah. 
Now it's hot, I guarantee. Mm, I guarantee. Mm, I guarantee. Ruffles bread potato chips. Yeah. Mama thinks it's special. How do I know? Because my Skippy tells me so. Of all the national brands, only Skippy has both high protein and less sugar. Glad my mama put Skippy in Ireland. Skippy for good nutrition. <laughs> This is Florida. Just slap a cow. The Care Bears. ABC. Nate. Wow. that. They're all some over the good, place. That's some good ones. Yeah, they had me going. I was like, what yeah, is that? Everywhere. I saw the Care Bears, yo. Yeah. We're going to do some. We're going to do a couple of fun ones in the Like, the weirdest one. I can find some. The phone numbers, the one nine hundred telephone line commercial of the nineties. Oh, so we're gonna easy. call a segment with calling now. Those nine hundred really numbers, gonna get a watch out. Interesting. <laughs> they still might charge you. I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, we'll oh, see guys. if it will let me copy the link. I'm waiting. For... I the true caller really is on my phone so if any scam calls want to get us we can stop them on the air so we'll get our phone ready for the 1900 num all these weird numbers so it's going to be some fun crazy phone num so get ready for some this is the part of the segment we're going to call the phone calling segment where we'll get your commercials and call number live we're Once calling we live. Looking for someone special? The love line is the answer. Looking for new people? The love line is the answer. Looking for romance? Love? The love line is the answer. 90s so with interesting experienced people. Make new friends or Looking talk for someone, someone special? special. Call 1 900 647 900. The love line is the answer. Call and you always hook up with the people that you see on the videos. I know that. a minute. Looking for someone special? Looking for someone special? Wow, is that Michael Jackson? That romance line. Let's see. Philippine. Yeah. All right, is it? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see what this is. I got one of those ones that was like, I called the romance number. It wasn't a chick that answered. I know that. Child, please check the number and dial again. Announcement four. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the <laughs> number and dial again. Announcement four. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, What's so that? Let, let's, let's do this. I'm going to play. Check this out. I'm going to play a phone number. <laughs> Hold on. This is a good one I found. You're crazy, man. There was a number that I found a while back that played music from. That you can call and listen to the music. I don't yeah, know like who. The, oh. the Hollow Notes now I know hotline. You, you already played that. I, I told somebody about that a long time ago. I was like, like oh, oh, do you want to hear like Rich Girl? Did that one happen? Music phone. Let's see if we can find one. 
Oh, world's worst whole music been identified. These days, there's someone calls a weird number. It's let's see. Someone says if you make this, make it through this whole music, we call the number eight five eight nine four zero one eight zero connected to a conference call with other people across the globe. Also, the call, the number. So, you could be trying that out. That's see if it's a still existing thing. We'll do that for fun. Let me search it on here and then we'll call it. And then we'll hang up if it gets a little too boring. <laughs> well, it says it's likely a business, so. Huh? Oh, well. All well, right. Let's try that for. Check it out. This A5. Yeah, we'll check it out. Let's see what right. really get us into. We're doing it live. Do it live. <laughs> Hello. Just a moment. Your call is now first in line and will be answered by the next available representative. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what what the fuck was that? <laughs> and what do we think that song is? I don't even know. I want to take a guess in chat. What do we think it is? I have the answer. Who do you? What do we think, chat? What do you think? We can't even, even decipher that, dude. No. Let's. I'm gonna give a hint. Someone that started a trend last year. Hmm. Think of the person. Uh, let's see. Not a rave. Think. Probably some TikTok, some TikTok shit, it, probably. This person had a hit song called Oops, I Did It Again. Oh. Not Billy Brit Eilish. Britney Spears, right? Yes. It was, and what's the song called? It's Britney, bitch. Hey, we're not, we're just wondering if you. Leave Britney alone. Yes, it was toxic, Duncan. That I was. You got it right. It was toxic. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. And then he puts toxic and. Find the answer. Connect with interesting. Oh, no. Connect with interesting, exciting people. Make new friends or talk to someone special. Call one nine hundred six four six seven nine hundred on your so cordless phone. Answer. Call one nine hundred six four six seven nine hundred. Two dollars a minute. A dollar a minute. Two dollars a minute. It's Live. It's live. For love, for romance, call one nine hundred two. Yeah, I want to talk to her, not anybody hey, else. Okay, but her. <laughs> Come on, I want to talk to the chick I, I saw in the, the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> they never give you that shit, man. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Announcement. Nope. These 900 numbers will not work. I think that's a busted uh, system. 900 talk about numbers now. Plus, you'll find out how to go live. I remember, like my, my wife telling me to her, real her live to father real got busted on that shit. Desires. Plus, back find in the out 90s. how to go totally live. The romance line that'll put you together with someone really special right now. Yeah. Call one nine hundred two three zero live. That's one nine hundred two three zero five four eight three. Call now. Two dollars per minute. One dollar traditional adult time. One additional minute. It's per minute, but an additional one minute if you talk forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah. You've been on for 55 minutes. Hi, my name's Gary Powers. So it's I only $57. And to find out where the parties are. Special right now. Call one nine. How are you? It's a meaningful relationship. But the guy who feels the same. If you'd like to meet serious singles, join the National me. Singles Club. A meaningful overnight relationship. That's it. <laughs> Whoa. Some nasty sax music. Hold up. <laughs> some getting some single girls. 
Damn, miss, I gotta go uh, hit up the old wife right now. For all, like, man, <laughs> call her up like it's like uh, calling the eight nine hundred number for something more, something more. Yeah, this will cost you one hundred fourteen dollars. <laughs> the funny thing is, my, my wife would play along too. Three one 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 for the names and numbers of the kind of singles you want to know. One nine hundred. Chicks, man, <laughs> like that one. It has to be that one. one. Yeah, they say, what kind of chicks do you want? Well, the one I saw in the commercial. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Those are just actors. Oh, that's, that's some false advertisement. Yeah, yeah it's like, I don't want the people on the TV. Duncan Dad corrected my math. Yeah, you probably... <laughs> that's one nine hundred eight two zero three one one one. Three dollars per minute. Three dollars? That's a high class. Three dollars per minute. Get ready to call Shit. three extraordinary phone lines that reveal what really goes on in people's minds. Oh, Hear women's yeah. confessions See? and learn the private secrets women hide. Dial one nine hundred three hundred. Hey, confession. That's the kind of information. See, that's the kind of you can't get this information anymore. Else. And learn the private secrets Don't women hide. Dial one nine hundred three four six zero one hundred. Discover fantasies of romance and love. Oh, women's emotions, confessions. Hopes. Dial one nine hundred three four six zero two hundred. Take a peek inside their private dreams they and keep them themselves. Admit their hearts. Be that's better that way. Cause it's all about <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dial 1 900 346 0300. Confessions, fantasies, and private dreams. Oh, fantasies, yo. That's a... Private dreams. We got fantasies, confessions, and private so dreams. Like, but the two dollars per minute, and then probably... this is my private dream. Actually, I really I can't remember it very well. It's kind of foggy. It was kind of started yeah. off like I was falling, and like, th like really, really, that's the kind of dream that you have. Yeah. You want to know my private dreams? That's yeah. them. So just that's $2, not very sexy. Just two dollars a minute, adults only. Hey, maybe it's somebody yeah. it is. <laughs> Come explore the forbidden secrets. You know, I never knew that. I forgot. Actually, talk. call one nine hundred two three zero seventeen hundred and listen to oh! me confessing your deepest, darkest thoughts. Whoa. I couldn't help myself. Girl I just song. had to tell. I didn't mean. There's a bit of chocolate out of the fridge. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> Forbidden secrets. I mean to hurt Man, him. I really do. Really dirty I stuff. Got no I, feel, I gotta go. I feel like my my computer's gonna <laughs> get an STD or something. So. <laughs> <laughs> we might get shut down for that. We're gonna get shut down. We're gonna stop here. We're not gonna go. We're, we don't get shut down. We're not gonna get that. We're not gonna get shut down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want my. I don't want your computer to get more worn out. And get an STD or something, man. That ain't right. Yeah, it's like we better run now, folks. We <laughs> pushed the uh, seal of crazy tonight. Tonight, I still, like the, I still like the Ron McDonald thing. That was cool. Yeah, we. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, check us out live on No Filter. Rock and Reese has his own show, and there's all kinds of other shows going on tonight as well. After the yeah, we got Into the Night, the new... Joe Q, the Philly Guy Speaks, you know, and a point the... perspective, Dunkin' Dad. So, and it's... then your guys' yeah. new show you guys did, the after show. Oh, yeah, we call it Last Call, so... Last yep. call. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, it's, it's all going good, man. This is a Monday through, or Sunday through Saturday kind of, kind of thing, so if you yeah. can't make it, I get it, but... You should be at least watching a couple of these shows on here. They're hilarious, man. They're like this. I can't believe this show's been going on for so we, all we do is like just goof on commercials. Yeah, and we just oh, do it. Live. I love it. We're just honest about it. We're just like, hey, watch some stupid commercials with us and see what you can remember. Yeah. So <laughs> our videos, like with YouTube, the views have been pretty good. They've been. Like sky, like five hundreds to hundreds of views on YouTube. So we yeah. are growing this show on YouTube, and we're gonna wow. try an audio portion and see how that goes. That's cool. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. keep doing these commercials. We're gonna look through some crazy stuff next week. I'm gonna try to find something fun, maybe get some baseball related ads and just do a loop of those, and we can gear up for baseball season. Definitely. And softball, I see your shirt for so if you get yeah, out to nice. Air, 
if you get out to Arizona, let me know. I'll, I'll try to get you some uh, Lady Devils game, something like that. Yep. We'll figure it out, and we'll go from there. We'll see you right guys on. next week, and we'll we'll the programs here on No Field. Great night. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks, Penguin.